Most people I have met that have played Assassin's Creed Odyssey fall into one of two categories. They either really love the game or they hate it. I gotta tell you, it was perfect. Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute details. And I've got to say, in all honesty, um, it's the biggest piece of dog shit. Many critics state that the game is too big, that it's a demigod simulator, that Assassin's Creed should not be an RPG, and that it doesn't even have an assassin as its protagonist. What if I told you that all those things are valid criticisms, but Assassin's Creed Odyssey is still worthy of being an Assassin's Creed game? Oh hell no! Now I know what I just said seems controversial so before you get your torches, pitchforks and form a mob against me, I want you to hear me out. This game covers a topic that has been introduced since Assassin's Creed 2 and that topic is the proto-assassins. Now for those of you who are wondering what the heck is a proto-assassin or for those who didn't pay enough attention to the lore of the assassins, allow me to fill in that gap of knowledge for you. Proto-assassins are people who fought for the same ideals as the assassins but existed before the brotherhood was formed or they were honored as assassins after their death despite not being official members of the brotherhood. The first time we see the proto-assassins is during the assassin tombs in Assassin's Creed 2. When Ezio is looking for seals that he needs to get to unlock the armor of Altair, we get to visit several different tombs that were built for some of these proto-assassins. We get to visit the tombs of Darius, who is the person who created the hidden blade and killed King Xerxes of Persia, Wei Yu, who killed King Shi Huang, the first emperor of China, and Otani, who killed Alexander the Great with poison. Adam and Eve are also proto-assassins as they chose to fight the Isu to preserve humanity's free will. Most of you are now thinking that's great and all, but how does that fit into Assassin's Creed Odyssey? Well, Cassandra is a proto-assassin, fighting for the freedom of the Greek world from the cult of cosmos while also trying to desperately save her family. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is inspired by the Odyssey, which was written by the Greek author Homer, that tells the tale of Odysseus' struggle in returning home from the Trojan War, where he gets sidetracked and ends up fighting different monsters for over 10 years before getting home to his family. Cassandra's circumstances are very similar to Odysseus, with the game being set during the Peloponnesian War, and Cassandra having to find her family through throughout that chaos and while also fighting the people responsible for separating her from her family. Now this game invokes a lot of Greek mythology and Greek history into the game which I absolutely loved since I read a lot of Greek mythology books growing up. I love the stories of Perseus, Hercules, Odysseus, and Achilles. Playing through Assassin's Creed Odyssey gave me the opportunity to explore the ancient Greek world I imagined so much as a kid. Just like with most ancient Greek tales we start with an epic opening with the 300 Spartans battling the Persians at Thermopylae which was epic especially since we got to play as King Leonidas holding the line, despite knowing that they were all going to die to save the Greek world from the Persians. This game took a lot of the same controls from Assassin's Creed Origins, but implemented them in a way that felt so natural, especially with the game setting up Cassandra to be the legendary eagle bearer of Zeus. I really loved being able to spartan kick enemies, especially off cliffs. It really felt exciting. Partaking in battles fighting for Athens or Sparta was also refreshing with so many enemies to fight around you. The cities in Odyssey were fun to explore. There were so many buildings, people, and statues dedicated to the Greek gods. Traversing the seas of the Greek world with our ship the Adrestia was also great especially fighting Athenian and Spartan ships. Many people criticize that the RPG element of Assassin's Creed Odyssey has no place in the game and I would beg to differ. Countless time I found the dialogue of the game to fit naturally no matter your choices which gave us some hilarious dialogues, emotional dialogues, and other types of dialogues we would have never gotten if this game was not an RPG. The developers have stated that the RPG elements of the game were inspired by games like The Witcher 3 and I for one enjoyed them. While I know RPG RPGs are not everyone's type of game, it really fits with the big open world that Ubisoft gave us in Odyssey. There are plenty of side quests to fill in gaps in between parts of the main story. One of the biggest praises I have for Odyssey is giving us the ability to travel anywhere once we get out of Kefalonia. Some of my favorite moments in Odyssey was getting to fight legendary animals and fighting mythological creatures such as the Minotaur, Cyclops, Medusa, and others. Now that I have praised the game, I also want to criticize this game fairly on parts that I did not like. First thing, the open world is too big for new players especially for those that have never played an Assassin's Creed game before. While I personally thrive and enjoy big open world games, for many people that is not the case. Too often I heard from friends that they could not finish Assassin's Creed Odyssey because the world was too big and there was too much to do. This is a valid opinion and concern since the game at first glance can seem overwhelming, especially if you have very little or no experience with open world games. My second big criticism is the controls of the game would stop with my controller. Too often when I would do chain assassinations or be in the middle of combat, the game would freeze up the controls and I would not be 
be able to dodge or fight back until I was hit by an enemy or died despite hitting the right buttons to dodge, counter, or parry. I encountered this issue too often on my PS4 despite using a new controller and replaying this game after all the DLCs and patches were out. My third criticism is the level system can feel like too much of a grind especially if you're trying to reach the max rank which is level 99 in the game. Ranking up to level 40 is pretty fast and easy but once you get to that level it gets really hard to reach the next level. To get to level 99 you would have to play the game over on New Game Plus which is great if you enjoyed the game but not so great for those that don't want to grind it out again. Overall those were some of the biggest problems I personally had with the game. What really makes this game stand out is the story and I loved every moment of it. From the main story to the DLCs and the epilogue, this game was very fun to play. All of it was very seamless and transitional. The main story sets up so much for the future of Assassin's Creed, especially since certain pieces of Eden can manifest themselves into mythological creatures and put in danger a lot of lives. Cassandra's journey to reunite with her family from the beginning to end was amazing especially if you managed to save all of them with your choices and how it all connects to the present day. The legacy of the first play DLC was essential in establishing Cassandra's role to the assassins and how her descendant would help shape the brotherhood plus it does a great job in humanizing Cassandra with her own family. Meeting Darius and facing the Order of Ancients was also a treat as we get his backstory of killing King Xerxes with the first hidden blade and seeing how he acted very much like the assassins that we have seen in other games. The fate of Atlantis DLC also helped fill in a lot of gaps of how the Isu were perceived as gods and their views towards humanity. The epilogue also explains what happened to Cassandra's spear, why she left Greece, and how we meet her in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Overall if I had to rate this game I would say it's a 9.5 out of 10. This game has gorgeous environments, a beautiful diverse world, an amazing story, and great DLCs. While this game is by no means perfect, it stands strong in its beliefs and truly makes you feel like you're a part of the ancient Greek world. If you love big open world games and RPG games, this is a great game for you to explore. If you enjoyed this video, consider becoming a subscriber and leaving a like on this video and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.